Shadow of Judgment. Hello, everybody. We're reading for the signs this week of July. What's the date today? The 5th to, to the 12th. The 5th to the 12th. What is Shadow of Judgment? You might be asking. This is where I look at what's going on behind the scenes. What might be happening below the subconscious, whether or not you're in your shadow side, is totally a bonus, whether for you or me, it really depends on perspective, honestly. We just get to see what's going on within the week for you that might be conspiring. What sign are we reading for first? Fire! Aries, you're up! Ooh, that was quick. Someone's feeling left out in the cold. Someone's feeling disfranchised. Left with a liability of sorts. Feeling less than the status quo. And someone feels like they have to restrict themselves very heavily. Like, someone wants to be a beast. And they gotta hold that shit back. Like, wait, I, ch I changed my ways. I'm not that kind of man anymore, you know? <laughs> That was a shitty joke, but a joke nonetheless. It's just like someone's kind of going through that right now. We're just holding back that kind of desire just to want to let loose in their condition. Uh, they just want to have a good time. Uh, might be a queen. That's not real. Fireworks or thunder? I think it's fireworks. And that was really loud. It's not even dark yet. Like the sun's still shining on the leaves. Yeah, it's only like 4.30 my time right now. I don't know about y'all's. That's why you get these so early. Yay. Let's see. What else is up for Aries the Shadow? Ah. Oh, might be a Libra involved here. Someone's looking at the options in order to deal with this uh, celebration, togetherness, merriment. Going where everybody drinks and nobody has any problems. And they fight with smiles on their faces. Hmm. Okay, that might have been thunder. But there's not a cloud in the sky. Jesus. Okay. Queen of Wands reversed right here as well. That's two queens. That could be you, Aries. Someone's wasting some time trying to be a martyr of sorts. <clears> hmm. <throat> mm, 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 mm. It keeps. Ah! Hello, sir. What are you doing descending? These cards are just not coming. There we go. There's one. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Good time is stalled. Or you're being you're stalling yourself trying to look for ways of having a good time or looking for a merriment and shit, you know. Um could possibly be obsessing over these to the point where like you're not taking any initiative or action. You know, looking back on it all. It doesn't even matter. You know? Like just looking back on it all. Do I get one more, or is that it for Aries? Nope, that's it for you, Aries. So this one's, like, separate over here. This is, like, somebody is restricting themselves. Possibly Libra. Maybe they think it's the right thing to do, but it's like they're martyring themselves or wasting time over shit. Like... You know, I'm a changed man, but in reality, it's just because, like, I don't know, maybe they're just a worry wart?
Like they care so, like they don't, like they care to like, I don't know. Hey, that bastard stole my lighter. God damn it, Gary. I gotta kick your ass. My neighbor stole my lighter. I need to light this incense. Yeah, it's like this person over here, it's, it's like, it's almost like they're trying to betray it's the right thing to do, or that's what they want to do, but it's like they're keeping themselves stuck in, like, I don't know, like, preaching, like, you know, like, Judge Judy, for example, she's a good Libra, uh, she balances herself out by screaming at people who she thinks do very morally and legally wrong things. She very much looks at the justifications of things. That whole uh, balance of the scales of sorts. And she gets to yell at people and people adore her for it. Like she's just an old lady who yells at people. It's kind of like this. It's like somebody preaching. Almost. Over here Someone felt left out in the cold with the Queen of Pentacles, and I think this is you, Aries, or it could be a Leo or Sagittarius, and it's like, they are just all, I, I, I feel like, in their head. About this shit, you know? Like, almost like you feel like you're stuck with, um, like, I don't know, not an unfaithful spouse, but like, maybe an overbearing mother, or... Hmm. Just someone with a lot of shit to say, but nothing to really contribute, you know? They, it's like, they just come in, and you're looking over it, right? You're looking over all of this. Um, what you've been trying to get to, it, it feels like it's just having a hard time coming to you, but it's like you're so focused on it, you're stalling yourself. You're not putting the energy in where it needs to be. And eventually, either you or somebody's going to end up looking over this like, you know what, I feel like I really wasted some time here. Meanwhile, um... This guy, whoever this is, I don't know, but he, he, interesting person. They have a very different point of view, but that's their choice. Leo, it's your turn. Let's see what's coming up for you. Yay. Oh, okay. I'll just do it like that. Then. Same difference. Okay. Leo, let's see what's coming up for your shadow. Ooh, that one is flying. That's the first one. Um, I feel like not running into battle. Like, you don't want to jump in the gun with anything. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Trying to get out of a bad headspace. I feel like you're triggered <laughs> just a little bit by something, but you don't want to confront it in order to get out of it. Is something bothering you? You're not trying to offer your cup up, and that's what will, um,. Get you out of whatever, or whoever it is you're dealing with is uh, doing this to you and keeping you in a pretty bad headspace, knowing that giving that to you would be really nifty or swifty or whatever the kids say. Yeah, okay. Something about an apology? Do you feel like you owe someone an apology? Or does someone owe you an apology? Um, walking away? Not giving up that cup for the wish fulfillment, so you left the eight cups? Or someone left the eight cups? Like, someone refused to move forward with the Knight of Swords to um, give a pentacle up. This could also be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, not riding in to offer the cup. Not getting out of the headspace, which would be some sort of apology. Oh, hold on one second.
sorry my neighbor stopped by. Queen of Swords in this situation. That was quick. Oh, there is more. Could be definitely dealing with a Libra. That's a lot of air. A Libra cannot be approaching to offer their cup. Truth. Ooh. Leo. Look at yours. Hmm. It's strange. It's like you're waiting for someone to offer this pentacle. But it's like you don't want to talk about it either. Even though it's like you know, you know? Um, hmm. Like someone didn't offer their cup and chose to walk away. They didn't want to make the nine of cups bad karma somewhere or was dealing with a Libra who just had this headspace that's just all it's kind of like you know they thought getting on this headspace would mean trying to run away from it but they never escaped it so now they're just looking back on it all illogically Whoever this person is right here, anyway. Almost like they think someone's gonna come back. After they snuck away. Like a prodigal son, almost? If, if that makes sense? Someone kind of realizes walking away was a bad decision. Or a bad judgment call, I think. I mean, that is the judge, and, and this person is judging the outcome. And this is based on some sort of truth, Leo, so... Two seconds. I take my lighter. I specifically bought this lighter to draw it. Damn it. I didn't know I had it. Okay. <laughs> Sagittarius, we're moving on to you. Yay. That was yours, Leo, so take what you will, okay? Okay. Sagittarius, it's your turn for your shadow of judgment. Be prepared. Arr. Let's see what's going on with you. Right? I should make a playlist of this so people can follow along with it. If they want to go back and look at it, shouldn't I? That would be smart to do. Um, Hanged Man and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like someone's waiting for some money to come in. Like they're just hanging out, and it's just like, oh, this is, and then this dude's gonna pour some in my hand. I know he is. He's a big dude. He's gonna ignore this dude because he's got right in his pocket. Hold on, I need to get more water. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Like, it's like waiting for destiny to happen. But, like, another way of viewing this, too, now that I'm thinking about it, this is like needing to surrender the sugar daddy. <laughs> you know, this person is just as poor as you, but, like, for some reason there's a feeling of an advantage, either on your part or someone you're dealing with's part. 
right? And I, and I feel like someone needs to surrender this sugar daddy and stop waiting for more money to come in from this guy. You know, like, really, is there love here? Is there? It's questionable. I like shuffling those and not looking at them because it makes it more exciting. It's like Russian roulette, but without like the scary parts. Ah, there's some. Um, someone's looking back on all this, being like, eh. And yeah. Mmm. Ew, Sagittarius. Ew. Okay. That was a bad reaction on my part. My bad, but yeah, you know, I, I can. It, 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 a lot of shit is noticeable in hindsight, not foresight. So it happens, but it's like, okay, this person's been hanging out and they need to surrender something. Either it's a betrayal or they get betrayed because Sugar Daddy is not a very good wish fulfillment. It comes with a lot of hubris, right? Someone's pondering that shit. Someone doesn't know what to do with it. Hmm. I feel like this guy's going on a brand new chip trip. Like, uh, Bilbo Baggins. Ah, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> but then we got Hindsight Ray here. Actually, I skipped a Ray on Hindsight. I didn't even mean to. Huh. Yeah, okay, this is definitely a Hindsight. Um, a relationship. Yeah, okay. Someone felt like they were in love. And they want to come back in from the cold with that, but it's like, ah. I don't know if I like that. I, I don't know if I like that, Sagittarius. I don't know if I like this at all. This is not, this is, this is not good. That's is not good. No, 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 no. That's is not good. I'll draw out two cards. Because the first one just is like, nope, that's not good. That's not good. I don't like this. You need to stay away from this. Or whatever this is. This doesn't even have to be you. This, yeah. You got this shit. Because it's not going to work. No bueno. I can say that a little better. I'm quite rusty on my German. I haven't spoken it since I was like 24, 25 maybe? I can't remember. Mmm. That's just not good. Um, yeah! I feel like, okay, Sagittarius, this has either already happened or it's going to happen, right? So take this as a warning or something you're seeing from hindsight. You're looking at this relationship like it was really like whoever this more feminine person is or the woman possibly in a relationship possibly feels like she was carrying this guy supposed to be a sugar daddy. He ends up back at zero though. He had six pentacles. Look at him. He's back at zero. He like gambled all the nine of cups away somehow. Like, gave, it like, almost, like, gave all his money to this. And then it's just like, we're going on an adventure. We're broke. You know? Like, uh, somehow that goes there. And, uh, the person in front, either woman or man, whoever it is, um, is confused about how to go about things because this is just, is not working out. And this is very bad. And this needs to be come out of. This needs to be released. Could be Capricorn right here. Um, this one could be anybody, so it really doesn't matter. There's actually more pentacles. So. Like, I don't know. But tr try to get out of this immediately, because this is, this is not good. This seems really harsh. Mmm. I don't know, man. But at the same time, he might be taking off from you, right? 
And in hindsight, you realize the relationship was kind of a liability. And maybe things didn't work out because the both of you realized you weren't good for each other, too. Maybe you weren't sure what to do with this. I don't know, but like, this is what I'm... I don't know, Sagittarius. Just be very, very careful, man. Like, I don't want anybody to fuck you up. That'd be messed up. Mucho no bueno. That is like the only Spanish I know. Okay, that's Shadow Judgment for Fire Signs. If you like this reading, cool. Um, you want a personal reading? I'm not taking anything till the 10th. And I'm going to change the setup of payments on the 10th, too. Because, like, wow. Uh, <laughs> um, but if you do want a personal reading, my email is down below. Usually I take tips and donations. My PayPal is down below as well, so do whatever you want with that. I did get a Cash App thing. Like, I had, like a fire sign convinced me to do it, and right now they have really good ideas. Um, I appreciate y'all very much right now. You're doing very beautiful and creative things. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure. And I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.